Hi, my name is Bill Robertson and you might know me better as Dr. Skateboard. Welcome to Dr. Skateboard's Action Science, a video series that explores the physical science concepts found in skateboarding and BMX. In this video segment, Forces, you will learn about various types of forces, what they do, and how they help riders perform tricks and maneuvers, both on skateboards and on bikes. So let's get moving and go with Forces. In order to be successful in skateboarding or BMX, a rider must learn how to control the distribution of their mass by controlling the center of gravity. In an individual, the center of gravity is a point that defines the center of your mass and is roughly located around a person's belly button. The closer the center of gravity is to the center of the board, bike, or rotational axis, the better chance the rider has of successfully completing a trick. Good riders tend to lower their center of gravity closer to the board or bike by bending their knees and shifting their weight. Conversely, when a rider elevates the center of gravity, such as straightening their legs, the center of gravity extends too far from the board or bike, and inevitably, the force of gravity overcomes the rider, leading to a crash. The center of gravity needs to be over the center of the board or bike, and the best way to ensure this to happen is to bend your knees and lower the center of gravity. A person's center of gravity and the ability of the rider to control the location of that center relative to the board or bike is key to progressing with bigger and better tricks. <laughs> 